ever asked you to name a few of your favorite teachers? You quickly responded saying, Mrs. Jones was my favorite, or I just loved Mr. Green. What a teacher. This teacher is somebody you absolutely adore, someone who has left an incredible mark in your mind years after you left the classroom. 7 News anchor Rebecca Little introduces us to an art teacher at Martins Ferry Middle School who is loved by her students and certainly worthy of this month's Golden Apple Award. We're here at Martins Ferry Middle School where we're about to surprise one teacher for this month's Golden Apple Award to kick off 2023. And it's very exciting because for 2023 we have doubled the amount we're giving teachers. We had so much good response and so much success last year that we wanted to give them $500 for the classroom starting for 2023. So let's go surprise her. Hi. Is this Mrs. Bellano? Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm Rebecca Little with WTRF 7 News. And I'm Haley Wade with the Health Plan, and you are this month's Golden Apple Awards winner. We're presenting you with $500 to use for your classroom. We've heard some really great things about you, so congratulations. Well, thank you. Vibrant, valuable, and well-versed are just a few words that would best describe art teacher Mrs. Courtney Villano, this month's Golden Apple Award recipient. I know that you know, some of my students need that little extra bit of, of time and energy from me, and I just want to make sure that I, I see that and I, you know, dedicate that time that they need, as well as to everybody else in the room. Martins Ferry Middle School Principal Chaz Yoder says Mrs. Volano really cares deeply about her students, and they feel the same way about her. You never hear her complain, always volunteers to do things, and in general, uh, we're pretty lucky in the middle school Ferry, so most of the teachers are like that, but she does go above and beyond. Mrs. Villano is about to go on maternity leave as she approaches her ninth month, but she is still full steam ahead with a plethora of paint, plenty of paint brushes and paint palettes. These next nine weeks are underway and Mrs. Villano's art students get a lesson in watercolor painting techniques. So why do you think that Mrs. Villano got chosen as this month's Golden Apple Award winner? Well, she's a really good teacher. She explains things really well. She's very hands-on with her students. She explains stuff very well, she said. And, um, like, she tells us what to do step by step so we don't, like, get confused. Mrs. Volano creates a safe space for these 5th and 6th and 7th and 8th graders, all 300 of them this year. They probably just like to be in the space in the space. Um, they know I'll talk to them about anything or if they have an idea that's really bit, they've been itching to do something with, uh, I'm always open to that. To her, these students are more than just their projects. She invests in them and the feeling is mutual. I try to get to know each one as best as I can um, and just, just ask them about themselves, see what they need, if they need to talk, anything like that. Just offer a space for them to come to and, and be comfortable in. She has forever changed them, making an impression on their canvas of life, instilling in them as many life lessons as she can. I always tell them, you know, I wish you the best. Uh, my door's always open. You know, life isn't always easy. Um, and we've all just have, you know, have to deal with that. Uh, but if you ever need an ear, that I'm here. Her students are hoping she spends her $500 gift card she received from the health plan on more art supplies. Mrs. Villano agrees the school supplies are a good idea, but also says she may use some of that money to buy some candy because she does enjoy handing it out to her students.